From Washington, this is VOA News. Coming up, the latest on the U.S. surveillance story. Plus, former Pakistani president could be tried for treason. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Norman. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says there will be consequences for countries helping former U.S. intelligence analyst Edward Snowden avoid arrest for disclosing secret details of U.S. government and surveillance of telephone and Internet activities. That story now from VOA Scott Stearns. Secretary Kerry says it would be deeply troubling if authorities in Russia or Hong Kong had adequate notice and willfully ignored U.S. efforts to gain custody of Snowden following espionage indictments. There would be, uh, uh, without any question, uh, some effect and impact uh, on the relationship and consequences. With respect to uh, Russia, uh, likewise. Kerry's urging Moscow to live up to the law because he says that's in everyone's interest. Kerry says when countries ignore legal standards, they invite other countries to do the same, raising what he calls a serious question for all of us in our relationships. Scott Stearns, New Delhi. President Obama says the United States is using all the appropriate legal channels to try to apprehend Snowden. White House says he believes he is in Russia and is pressuring Moscow to expel him to face espionage charges in the United States. Snowden had been booked on a Monday flight from Moscow to Havana with the possible eventual destination of Ecuador, where he is seeking asylum. But the flight to the Cuban capital left with no sign of him on board. Lebanese army units are closing in on followers of a hardline Sunni cleric in the southern city of Sidon, part of the ongoing spillover from the conflict in neighboring Syria. Lebanese soldiers took cover behind tanks and armored vehicles Monday in Sidon, exchanging gunfire with supporters of Sheikh Ahmad al-Asir. Asir a Sunni has become a vocal supporter of the Syrian rebels, fighting to oust President Bashar al-Assad. The clashes broke out Sunday when the army detained one of Asir's supporters. His followers retaliated by attacking an army checkpoint, killing at least 12 soldiers. Officials say several of Asir's supporters have also been killed and dozens of others have been wounded. Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif says he is bound by the country's constitution to put former military ruler Pervez Musharraf on trial for high treason. Ayaz Ghul reports from Islamabad. Former military leader Pervez Musharraf overthrew Mr. Sharif in a bloodless coup during Mr. Sharif's earlier stint as Prime Minister in 1999. Mr. Musharraf, who went on to rule Pakistan for nearly a decade, is currently under house arrest in Islamabad with a number of legal challenges pending against him related to his time in power. Prime Minister Sharif on Monday told the parliament his government fully agrees with the top court's ruling that Mr. Musharraf's decisions constituted an act of high treason and said he should be tried under Article 6 of Pakistan's constitution. Mr. Musharraf would be the first army ruler tried for treason and he could be sentenced to death or life in prison if convicted. Ayaz Gul for VOA News, Islamabad. South Africa's president says anti-apartheid legend Nelson Mandela remains in critical condition more than two weeks after he was hospitalized with a lung infection. At a news conference on Monday, President Jacob Zuma said doctors told him they were doing everything they can to treat the 94-year-old former president and make him feel comfortable. My diva is critical in the hospital, and this is the father of democracy. <clears throat> this is the man who fought and sacrificed his life. President Zuma asked South Africans to pray for Mr. Mandela. 
A Milan court sentenced former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi to seven years in prison and barred him from public office for life after he was convicted of paying an underage prostitute for sex and abusing his office to cover it up. The 76-year-old politician and media mogul is charged with paying the Moroccan-born woman for sex in 2010 when she was 17 years old and then calling a police station to press for her release after she was arrested for theft. Berlusconi can appeal, which is a process that could take several months. For more on this story and the rest of the hour's news, check out our website. Our website can be found at voanews.com. I'm Steve Norman, VOA News in Washington.